After the previous video about running SOLIDWORKS on M1 MacBooks, I got a suggestion from Kevin to check out Zimmons NX as one of the big players in the 3D CAD industry. So I gave it a try and here is the experience I've been having with it on a MacBook. Hello everyone, if you are new here, my name is Hamid, I'm a research engineer based in Montreal, Canada and in this video I'm going to have a short review of the performance of an M1 Max MacBook 16 in running Zimmons NX. Also, by the end of the video, I will be briefly comparing it with a 2020 M1 Mac Mini. In case you didn't know, Zimmons NX was first released on Mac OS starting back in 2006. However, considering its commercial status, they decided to retire NX from the Mac OS. As a result, NX12, released in 2017, was the latest enhancement released on the Mac OS. And for those who are not familiar with Siemens NX, it is a commercial software developed by Siemens for advanced design, simulation, and manufacturing solutions. Compared to SolidWorks, NX is a more well-developed PLM PDM integration that is used by large companies with hundreds of designers and engineers contributing to thousands of parts in assemblies. That's why automotive and aerospace OEMs are exclusively using NX or Katia. Okay, back to the virtualization. The installation process on the MacBook using a virtual machine was quite straightforward. I used the trial version of Siemens NX and the default Windows 11 ARM available in parallel. And compared to SolidWorks, running the app was also hassle-free, at least with this trial version because there is no license server configuration, etc. I was able to import parts of an assembly from a SolidWorks project with no problems. And although I'm not aware of any performance benchmark method in NX to provide with some numbers, I can confirm that with no hesitation, the graphic experience was excellent. The software ran quite fast on my laptop and everything from navigating through the model to making section cuts and adjustments were quite smooth. I also tried rendering a scene. And although I got a warning message from NX saying that the graphic driver of this virtual machine is not optimized for rendering tasks, it indeed did a good job. I mean, good enough for occasional use. By the way, if you liked the video so far, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Talking about the performance, it kind of makes sense. It reminds me of some SOLIDWORKS benchmark tests previously done by Ben Kesar about the interesting performance of integrated GPUs compared to their counterparts with dedicated video memory. I put the link in the description below. Here's the point. Integrated GPUs, at least at the higher levels, can perform really well for some workloads, even on par with some entry-level dedicated video cards if there is no bottleneck in the system in terms of available memory. And as for these MacBooks, we all know that Apple does not disappoint in terms of performance with this series of M1 chips and their embedded GPU. To my surprise, even my 2020 M1 Mac Mini was able to perform reasonably well in running Siemens NX. And for smaller assemblies, there was almost no difference from what I experienced with my 16-inch MacBook with M1 Max CPU. The only difference that I can mention from my observation was the render time for a scene, which was slower on the Mac Mini. Okay, that's it for today. But before you leave, if you like to see how SOLIDWORKS can be used on an M1 Mac, click here. And if you like to see more videos about engineering software on MacBooks, click here. Thank you for watching. This is Hamid DLL, and I will see you in the next video.